Good afternoon, it's Ross War here from Infomanage.com. It's the uh, end of autumn here in New Zealand and it's starting to, uh, to cool down. This morning's start was uh, just a little tiny bit above zero, so we're starting to wear our winter vests and things like that. Um, over the next few days I'm going to be going up to Auckland University. They have a, a very good taught masters and uh, they invite guest speakers around asset management. I'm one of those going to be talking on the subjects of asset management plans and also demand management. Uh, so what I thought I would do is just run you through a very quick overview of um, asset management plans today. I'm hoping that we'll get the recordings of those longer uh, lectures and be able to share with them with you in, uh, when they're available. Um, and, and I also thought I would uh, move on in some of the future uh, our future chats to the demand management as well. So the two things that I thought I would bring to your attention today around asset management plans was first where they fit within the wider structure. Um, the diagram that you're seeing here uh, is from ISO 55000 Annex B and that diagram's got quite a bit of information in it and I just thought I'd, I'd very quickly take you through. So at the top you have your organisational plans and objectives. At the next level down you have a strategic asset management plan and an asset management policy. And the level below that is your actual asset management plans, the more detailed ones. Now for many organisations with perhaps a less complex asset mix, the place to start obviously is to sort out your organisational objectives, uh, sort out your asset management policy and then um, draw up a strategic asset management plan that gives you some high level and longer term guidance about what you're trying to achieve and what you need to invest to achieve it. Uh, then, having done that, you can dig into the detail in a detailed asset management plan. If you're going to do a detailed asset management plan, or even at the higher level strategic asset management plan, the next slide here um, is talking about the structure of asset management plans from the ISO, sorry, the International Infrastructure Management Plan uh, man Manual 2015. And this is the overall structure. They have an understanding requirements, which is the start, they have the life cycle planning, which is around the managing risk, the operational capital renewals, um, life cycle decision analysis, optimization, uh, all of that sort of planning. Um, and then over, then they have the asset management enablers around your leadership, your teams, your asset plans, your management systems, your asset, uh, your information systems, uh, the service delivery models that you uh, are deploying, and, and those sorts of things. Uh, and an asset management plan out of the life cycle planning you're also going to have some financial plans as well that uh, look at how that, that everything's coming together. So at a very high level the understanding requirements, the life cycle planning and the asset management enablers are the backbone or the major three sections of an asset plan and of your analysis of asset management. Thank you very much for watching this. I'm, I'm going to enjoy my time up at Auckland University as I always do and I'll look forward to uh, seeing you on the next video.